you. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We worship and exalt your name. Thank you for your mercies towards us. Thank you for your grace towards us. Thank you for your favor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the blood of the everlasting covenant. Thank you that this morning we are saved from our sins by reason of the blood of Jesus. Thank you that we are delivered from the consequences of our failures by reason of the blood of Jesus. We are grateful this morning that we are alive at such a time as this to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of salvation. That Lord is not of works lest any man should boast. It's not what we've done. It's because of your great grace. We say thank you this morning. We are grateful this morning. We honor you the King of glory. We exalt your name the high and lifted one. You are awesome in this place. You are great Lord. You are worthy of our praise. We say thank you for the cross King Jesus. Thank you Lamb of God for paying the full price. Thank you for the atonement of our sins. Thank you Lord. Oh, we worship you. We bless your name. Thank you, King Jesus. We bless your name this morning. Good morning. Good morning. In Colossians chapter 2, Colossians chapter 2 from verse 11, I'm reading the New Living Translation. It says, when you came to Christ, you were circumcised, but not by a physical procedure. Christ performed a spiritual circumcision, the cutting away of your sinful nature. I want us to thank him this morning and say, Lord, thank you for circumcising my heart. Thank you for cutting away the sinful nature, for removing that thing that was covering my my heart that was stopping me from serving you. Thank you, Lord, for this circumcision that is not made with hands. You've put away the body of sins. You've put away that part of us, Lord, that was sinful. And we say, thank you. Thank you, Lord, that your glory is upon our lives this morning for you have cut away our sinful nature. Sin has no dominion over us this morning. We declare it that sin has no dominion over us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And then it goes on to say in verse 12 of Colossians uh, 2, For you were buried with Christ when you were baptized, and with him you were raised to new life, because you trusted the mighty power of God, who raised Christ from the dead. You were dead because of your sins, because of your sinful nature. Then God made you alive with Christ, for he forgave all our sins. He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. I want us to thank him this morning. That Father, I thank you that the record of the charges against me, my rap sheet, delivered by the mighty power of God. The resurrection power is at work on the inside of me this morning. He's doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that we are dead to sin. We are dead to the ways of this world. We are dead to any limiting factor because you, Lord Jesus, when you died on the cross, you died with my sin nature. And when you resurrected, you brought me up with you unto newness of life in you, Christ Jesus. My life today is hidden in you, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want us to confess Galatians 2 verse 20. Galatians 2 verse 20. The Bible says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, it's not me who is living, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live every day, the life I'm living in the flesh, I live by faith. The faith of the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Let's begin to declare it this morning. I have been crucified with Christ, but I am alive today. Yet it's not me who is alive. Christ is living inside of me. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Christ is living in me. The life I'm living today in the physical realm, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, amen. 
And you know, the exciting thing about this verse, it says that the life I live now, I live by the faith of the son of God. It's not my faith. It's his faith. And his faith can move mountains, can raise the dead. His faith can feed 5,000 with two little buns, not even loaves, two little buns. It's five, you know, five little buns and two fish. That's the faith of my savior. The life I live, I live by the faith of the son of God. Let's declare up this morning that Lord, even as I've come to the place of prayer, I don't come by my own faith. I come by the faith of the son of God, the faith that you've deposited inside of me as a gift of the Holy Spirit. I come by the faith of the son of God. I am living by the faith. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. We are not of them who live by sight or draw back unto perdition. We live by faith. Every step I'm going to take today, I am going to take it by faith in the son of God, the son of God's faith, the faith that comes from the Holy Spirit, not what I've made up, but what God has deposited inside of me by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the gift of faith. I live my life today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Going back to Colossians 2.14, he said he canceled the record of the charges against us. He took that record away and nailed it to the cross. He blotted out the handwriting, the ordinances, the decrees, the curses, the incantations, the vexes, whatever was standing against you. He says, whatever was contrary to us, whatever is against your, your deliverance is against your victory is against the fulfillment of your testimony. Whatever is hindering. He said, he took it out of the way and nailed it to the cross. This morning, I want us to nail to the cross, any demonic opposition, whatever Whatever it is, whether it's a curse, whether it's an evil agreement, whether it's an evil contract, whatever it is, uh, we nail it to the cross this morning in the name of Jesus. Uh, we declare them nailed to the cross. Uh, Father, Lord, every evil covenant that would want to testify against me and my household uh, this morning, I uh, nail it to the cross. Uh, every evil pronouncement uh, against me, my husband, my children, the children of God on this prayer line, our churches, uh, the church of God all over the world, uh, whatever is contrary. Contrary to what God has said about each and every one of us, we nail it to the cross this morning. We nail it to the cross. I nail to the cross evil covenants, evil trade agreements, covenants of wickedness, trade agreements of darkness. We nail them to the cross. Maleka son tolobaya uzabragadalabasiya zembregede debasiya. Whatever is not of God this morning, whatever is standing against the purposes of God for our children, our children's children, Father, we nail it to the cross this morning malia handa la bradosia mazondoria baba 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 zembregete de bregete leba masakanda la bradosia masokondoria baba 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 mazuka duda bakaza balegada oria baba baba zegete de bakaza zuvredus kabalagada oria baba 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 zevradus kabalagada zembregete de balagada oria baba 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 regalo sovredus kabalada oria mama 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 sentenema zunanina na masentendeleba so bregete de bragado lo bradosia masakanda la bradosia so bregete de bregete leba ligadu savaragada zem bregete leba korabasia in the name of jesus oh we thank you almighty god we worship you oh we glorify your name this morning we give you praise in jesus mighty name we pray amen when we go to Ezekiel 28, we find that one of the ministries of Lucifer is evil trades, you know, trading, trading in human souls. Take the soul of somebody, trade it because another person is asking for riches or influence or power. One of the sins he has is the sin of evil trading, you know, and I've shared with some of us on the prayer line some time ago, the revelation that God gave me about the trading flaws of Lucifer and how sometimes people enter his trading flaws unknowingly you know they think all they have is a credit card or all they did was go to a restaurant to have a meal without realizing that actually where you've been is satan's domain and when you handed over your money you entered into a trade agreement with him but we're gonna pray about that this morning and nail it to the cross according to colossians 2 14 god said whatever is against us every handwriting every ordinance every decree whatever it is we're nailing it to the cross in ezekiel 
Ezekiel 28, you will see when you read from verse one, the Bible talks about, you know, the, the judgment against the prince of Tyrus. And God says to him, you know, by your great wisdom, I'm reading King James, by your great wisdom and by your traffic, you have increased your riches and your heart is lifted up because of your riches, because of your trafficking. Traffic has been trafficking, dealing, trading. And however way he's trafficking is not a good trafficking. And then when you go to, um, to, to, to verse um, 16, the Bible says that, in fact, from 15, it says, you know, you were perfect in the day you were created. This is talking about the anointed cherub, Lucifer, the light bearer. It says you were perfect until iniquity was found in you by the multitude of your merchandise. You have filled the mist of yourself with violence and you have sinned. Therefore, I've cast you out as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy you, O covering cherub, from the midst of the, the stones of fire. Because of what? His ma- merchandise, his trafficking. When you go to verse 18, it says, Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries by the multitude of your iniquities and by the iniquity of your traffic, your trafficking. So there is an evil trafficking. When you read other translations, it will say trade. It is evil trading. I want us to pray this morning. However way, Lucifer and his agents, however way the kingdom of darkness have trafficked anything that belongs to you and your bloodlines, your family. This morning, that trade agreement that they have trafficked with, that ordinance, we nail it to the cross. We nail it to the cross and declare it null and void in the name of Jesus. Let's lift up our voices and begin to pray this morning. Father, according to Ezekiel 28, we have learned that one of the sins of the covering cherub who fell, Lucifer, Hashatan, the one who is the adversary. We have learned that one of his evil things is evil trading, is trafficking, is merchandising. Father, however way the devil and his agents have merchandised my bloodlines from my father's side, my mother's side, my spouse's father's side, his mother's side. Father, Lord, everyone on this prayer line in their bloodlines, however way there's been evil merchandise, evil trading, trading what belongs to them and giving it to the enemies of of God. Father, this morning we come by the blood of Jesus and by the word of the Lord. In Colossians 2.14, you have said, oh God, that we are blotting out every handwriting, every ordinance, anything that is against you, which is contrary to you. You are blotting it out this morning. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I nail to the cross every evil trading, every evil trafficking in the name of Jesus. Wherever there's been a swap, there's been a swap of destinies. Every evil trade, maleke keke borobo bobo suntere re bashanda, masunte de brado si andaraba. In the name of Jesus, we nail it to the cross. In the name of Jesus, name. Hallelujah, King Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You know, I was um, listening one time to um, a testimony about this man, you know. This man um, had gone to a meeting where Anna Mendes Farrell was ministering. She's like an apostolic deliverance minister. And this man, wherever he went, he found that people just never remembered him to the point of even forgetting his name. And his name was not a difficult name. It was an easy name. He, he was called William. But nobody could remember his name at work, at home, you know, um, in his neighborhood. When he joined the church, no one in the church would remember his name and nobody would ever help him with anything. He was just always forgotten until when they were praying for him, the Lord um, revealed what had happened to him. In Psalm 88, you know, verse 12, the Bible says,
I want us to intercede for anyone in our families, anyone we are connected with. The Bible says in Psalm 107, that from verse 10, I'm reading King James. It says, such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the words of God and condemned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness, out of the shadow of death. He broke their bands asunder. All that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron asunder. I want us to pray. Any one of our family members, our relatives, our children, anyone who is bound in the chains of the enemy, anyone who is in the regions of captivity, sitting in the dark, bound in affliction, whatever the affliction is, this morning by the power in the name of Jesus, we declare the word of the Lord that the Bible says God brought them out of darkness. He brought them out of the shadow of death and he broke the chains asunder. He has broken the gates of brass and and cut the bars of iron asunder. Anybody imprisoned in satanic prisons that the enemy has jailed emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, however way we declare their freedom this morning. Let's begin to pray for them. Father, we stand in the gap on behalf of anyone, Lord, that is connected to us by blood, by marriage, by, by the, the kingdom of heaven, anyone connected to us through the body of Christ, anyone around us connected to us because they live in our neighborhood, they live in our community, they live in our cities, uh, they live in our nations. Uh, Father God, this morning uh, we are praying in Jesus' name. Uh, whoever is sitting in darkness this morning, in the shadow of death, bound in affliction, may they come out. We bring them out in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, let their chains be broken. Aligada Sanda, for you have broken the gates of brass. You have cut the bars of iron asunder. In the name of Jesus, uh, let there be deliverance this morning. Uh, we send forth uh, all the blessing of deliverance uh, all around us, uh, in and in our household, uh, outside us, uh, around us. Uh, we send forth, uh, Lord Jehovah, your deliverance. Uh, let there be deliverance this morning. We bring them out in the name of Jesus. We bring them out, Lord, out of every limitation, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let there be deliverance. Let there be deliverance. Let there be deliverance. Rescue them, oh God. Rescue those who have been bound. We bring them out of the regions of captivity in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. If we go back to Colossians 2, verse 15, the Bible says, I'm reading the New Living Translation. When Jesus canceled the record of the charges against us and nailed them to the cross, it says in verse 15, in this way, he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. He has overcome. He has overcome. He has won us the victory. He says in the King James, having spoiled principalities and powers, spoiled them. He made a show of them openly. He triumphed over them in it. I want us to declare this morning, every spiritual ruler, principality, powers, demonic authorities. I announce to you, Jesus has disarmed you. He has shamed you publicly by his victory over you at the cross. You are shamed publicly. You have been destroyed in the name of Jesus. We declare this morning the word of the Lord. Every principality, every power, Jesus has overcome you. He has, he has been victorious over you in the name of Jesus. We declare victory this morning. We declare victory. All the works of the enemy in our lives against us, they are destroyed this morning by reason of the cross. Jesus has disarmed them. They are powerless over us in the name of Jesus. He has shamed them publicly. 
Regado socoria baba baba baba. Regado sontolia baba baba. In the name of Jesus, uh, he said in verse 20 of that scripture that we have died with Christ. He has set us free from the spiritual powers of this world. Uh, let's begin to declare it. Uh, I am free from the spiritual powers of this world. Uh, I am free from the rudiments of this world. Uh, I am free. I am free from the rules of this world. Uh, I am free. I am under the jurisdiction of the kingdom of heaven. I am free from every manipulation. I am free from anything that would stand against me in the the name of Jesus. I am free. My household is free. Our families are free. Our children are free. We are free in the name of Jesus. Whoever the sun sets free is free indeed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We worship you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Romans 15, Romans 15 verse 13, the Bible says, now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Hope is important for a Christian. It's important to believe that my tomorrow shall be better than my yesterday. Without hope, a Christian is powerless. But the Bible says the God of hope will fill you and I with all joy and peace in believing. So that we may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Declare it over yourself this morning. That the God of hope has filled me with joy and peace in believing. I believe in Jesus. I believe in my Father. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. The God of hope has filled me with joy and peace. I am full of joy and shalom in believing. I am abounding in hope. My hope is just abounding. It's overflowing through the power of the Holy Ghost. I believe in Jesus. I believe in the word of God. I believe in the goodness of God. I believe that I will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. I believe that today is another day when I will have encounters with the mighty God. When I will experience miracles, signs and wonders. Today is another day that I will encounter great Great breakthroughs. Great joy is my portion in this day. I am full of hope that this is a good day. This is a blessed day. This is a powerful day. This is a day of victory. This is a day of great honor. This is a great, a day of great power. I am full of hope by the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus is full, is, has filled me with joy and with hope in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We give you thanks. Thank you for hope. Nobody on this prayer line will be hopeless. Nobody will wake up discouraged and go to bed discouraged. We are full of hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hebrews 11 from verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Faith is the substance, the tangible thing of the things hoped for. If you are full of hope this morning, what are you hoping for? Your faith gives you the substance of that hope. It's the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Mars, Jupiter, Pluto, Neptune, Uranus, the sun, the moon, the stars, planet Earth. They were all framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. When you read Hebrews 11, 1 in the Amplified, it says now. Faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not yet revealed to the senses. By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed, fashioned. So this morning, by faith, you can create a new reality. What are you hoping for? Let's go ahead and speak it out in the name of Jesus. By faith, 
get the title deeds of that house you want to buy by faith get that deliverance get that healing see the letter from the doctor saying we are discharging you from this clinic because there is no longer any disease evident in your body see it by faith let's begin to frame a new reality this morning lift up your voice and pray brethren father lord i thank you this morning that my faith is the substance of things i hope for this morning lord i am hoping for a new beginning i am hoping for great power great deliverance great manifestation of your glory and by faith i receive it lord i thank you that i have evidence that you are at work in my life my evidence is faith. My evidence is faith in the word of God. This is all the evidence I need that it shall be well with me. It shall be well with my spouse. It shall be well with my children, my children's children. It shall be well with my brothers and sisters in Christ on this prayer line. It shall be well with everybody, Lord, that I come across today. It shall be well with the household of faith. By faith, oh God, there is healing this morning. There is deliverance. There is transformation. There is victory over the works of the enemy. By faith this morning, there are new beginnings there is good news coming by faith we write that letter that we are expecting in the name of Jesus we write that letter of promotion of lifting of blessing that letter of blessing the good news we receive it through the post we receive it by phone calls we receive good news from the north from the south from the east from the west in the name of Jesus by faith this morning oh God we thank you that you have done a new thing what no man can do that God who makes a way where there seem to be no way. By faith this morning, we receive the new thing. We receive the great and mighty works. We receive great and wondrous works. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen.